Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And as I continue to make Limbus uh, company content out there, a lot of people are asking me, should I jump into this game? Is it something, uh, you know, it's like too late? Have I missed the bandwagon? Uh, you absolutely haven't. Is it free to play friendly? Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about that. I definitely think it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So the best way I can almost describe this game right now is it feels like it is very much early access um, gotcha game almost. It feels like there's a lot of content coming. They have a great roadmap uh, and not everything is fully flushed out and they are adjusting things and changing things at a very rapid pace. So the question of is this game free to play friendly? I would say yes, you can clear all content right now with the base characters that the game does give you, but you do get a lot of pulling currency uh, while you do play the game. That's going to be lunacy down here in the lower left hand corner, and it only takes 1100 lunacy to do some pulls. So not only do you get lunacy from clearing the main story, so that's going to be any number of these missions you can see up here. 130, 130, 130, 260 if you do all of the additional missions, but every single mission, even the story-esque missions, also give you 40. So when you're doing, you know, like 15 missions a chapter at 40 each, you do end up getting quite a bit of lunacy. And right now in the game, there is no way to farm lunacy, but they will be bringing that in, um, which we'll talk about here in just a second. But it is enough to play and to be successful in the game, and it feels relatively good. Uh, there's never been a situation where I've needed a unit in order to clear or address content. And I think part of this is because there's no PvP right now, uh, and I don't know if there ever will be any PvP, but because it's simply a PvE game, it just feels like I have what I need and I don't have that like FOMO if I'm missing out. Now, what they are going to be doing here in the near future, because they have implemented uh, the system called Mirror Dungeons here, but they're changing it so that your Mirror Dungeons are going to actually give you lunacy as well. So this is going to give you a little bit more than you previously would have gotten. You can get lunacy from the free battle pass as well. But the goal of the mirror dungeons is that you're going to be running them weekly and that you're going to be getting 250 lunacy. So uh, you're going to be capped at getting 750 lunacy per week. However, in two weeks, that's 1500 lunacy. And that means you are going to be able to do a 10 pull. So essentially, the free to play version of this game is going to enable you to save up your free to play currency to do one 10 pull. Technically, it would be like one one and one tenth 10 pull almost um, or 11 pull, sorry, uh, per week. And I think that's fine. I think that's really all you need. But what's great is that on top of all of this, they are very good at compensation, at taking care of the player base. Uh, you just take a look at the history of things that we've gotten. Uh, we've gotten two 10 pulls, 1300. Um, lunacy just from when they revealed the roadmap you get lunacy from doing you get 300 lunacy from every maintenance right which is a quarter of the way to getting an 11 pull it's just really nice it just fully works out and with their pity system uh it is really good because let's say you pull a unit that you don't really want you could save up your thread uh, for a specific unit here uh, but you can also turn it into regular thread and upgrade the units you already have. So you don't have to pull duplicates of units or duplicates of egos in order to upgrade them. You can take the dupes that you've gotten for other units, turn them into thread and upgrade your units that way, which makes it very nice and very easy in terms of ease of access as well for playing. Let's say that I didn't have time to play today. I would just come up here and I would go to modules and I'll just convert all of my energy into modules just like that. I've used up all my energy. I will use these modules when I do run mirror dungeon or when I run other content, uh, but it's quite easy and it is 
really nice for the casual player. The one thing I would say too, uh, is that the battle pass is also significantly cheaper at only 10.99 compared to other games where you can see battle passes upwards of 19.99 or Nino Kuni, right? Where there's literally like five battle passes that you can buy and they are all at 19.99. Some of them are even more. It, it's one of those things where the access that you have to this game um, is not going to be extremely financially motivated. Uh, and even as a free to play player, you'll notice here on the battle pass, there are really powerful egos that are here as well. You have a couple that are locked down below, but you don't have to go far to get like the impending day ego here, which is one of the best egos in the game actually for support. So even as you just like progress here, here's another ego that you can get. And you can see it's almost every, you know, seven levels. Here's another ego. You're gonna be getting so many egos as a free to play player uh, that you're actually going to be viable. Here's another one. I mean, we're looking at upwards of almost an ego for every single character, it feels like, uh, in terms of being able uh, to use them. So. The question overall, um, should you start playing this game? Is this game very free to play friendly? My dogs keep running back and forth. So if you guys are hearing their little paws, <laughs> uh, I think this is one of the most free to play friendly gacha games that I've ever played. And it's also one of the lowest maintenance gacha games I've ever played, which is saying something because I don't have to feel like I need to log on and do my dailies every single day because I know I'm gonna be able to catch up or I know I'm gonna be able to store my energy and go that way. So uh, thank you so much for watching everybody. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you're curious a little bit more about this game, I've done a ton of videos, but just come in my discord, come to the Limbus company section uh, and just throw out questions for people and they will answer you. Uh, anyway, everyone, thank you so much and I will catch you guys all next time.